Welcome to another Lumion 8 live stream tutorial. This is Chris Walton from C. Walton Design, and in this tutorial, we're going to cover model and material variations, or the variation control effect in Lumion 8. So let's go ahead and jump into the Lumion 8's What's New page here. And what you're seeing right here is a really cool really cool representation of this effect that I, I don't have a model that's quite that dramatic for changing but already a, it's pretty pretty simple to see what this one's about this one's going to be about being able to quickly switch between different options in models in Lumion 8 this was not really um, this this was uh, you were able to do this before with layers but this is basically in a way I was looking at this it's almost like having infinite layers there's a lot of potential in here and I'm still trying to figure out exactly how I can best utilize it myself but I will share what I have been able to figure out with this so let's go ahead and jump into this model here so really quickly I just grabbed some house off of the SketchUp warehouse and you're gonna see my terrible really quick design options I've done with this house and unfortunately in this case this is technically a a material variation and I'm going to quickly show you what what it does so variation control this is the effect it's found with the animation effects variation control and so really quick how it works is I select this model this is the one I want to show variations on this house model that I've imported and I have four variations of this house that can be quickly sh switched here I think I just deselected it alright so there it was it was selected before jump back into this scene alright so those are four quick variations I made of this house and it's in this case it's only model or um, it's only material so what I could have done if I you know, really wanted to I could have jumped into here and if I could have removed some of these different features and added different features from the SketchUp model and imported them as separate uh, variations that way but this one for quick showing off was through material so I'm going to show you how you create variations so when you click on an imported object and then on their, uh, their little node right there now this this comes up right here so this was the original one one is the one you import and when you want to add a variation you click this plus button. In this case, I've already added four. I clicked plus, and what I like to do beforehand is make sure that you know you save your materials because we, in this case, we want to keep the same materials that we can adjust slightly. And I jumped to two, and in this one, I painted a couple different things, different materials. These are all materials in Lumion, and then I did it again for three. They're all their individual model. As you can see, it says the title here, House V3, V2, and House V4 was the last one I added, and I can do another one right here. Go to this house again. In fact, let's do something. I, I might as well just do this live. Let's jump into... the house model. and I might take a second to open up and I will show you how we can actually change this the model variation instead of just showing material that this is also a model variation kinda like what you're seeing right here so these were completely separate models based off of the same thing Revit has a design option SketchUp has layers 3ds Max has different ways of organizing as well and so that's just another way of, orga of organizing this. And so this is the original house. And what I'm going to do is, unfortunately, uh, it's not very cleanly modeled here. This should have been a lot easier. But it will get the point across. Oh, wait. This does quite bother me the way this is modeled, but it's still a good looking little model. 
It worked for what I need to show off. I know, that's not... Alright. And... I'm afraid to erase anything else. Um, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to just make this a flat garage here. Lines don't come into Lumion from SketchUp. Alright, now that will work. Maybe I'll erase these brackets too. Hmm. <laughs> Usually when I'd model all these, all of these things would be their own group. Like, that's one-on-one -on -one SketchUp modeling, but you get a little bit of everything with. You know what? We're just going to leave them on there. This will get the point across. So I'm going to go ahead and save this one. And I'm going to call it model be alternate. So the reason you noticed that I had saved... When you import it, it's not Lumion's not going to let you. Um, so if I just redid this one again, like I had done before, it's not going to let you keep house one. That's why I had house V two, house V three. In this case, I've named it another model, so this house alternate. So now we're going to have another variation. So what it's done is it's kept the materials from what it was on before, so we can use this as a basis. And so this one. We could decide to make this a different type of wood or something. You now let's 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 see what we can do with this. Just something not really liking that, but the point the point showing is just the real basic flexibility of how I created those other ones. So that's not the most beautiful house, but. I don't know. Here we go. So we just created another iteration here. And <laughs> so that little thing I removed there, which left a terrible hole. And I also changed the garage. And I can be able to switch back. And so there's a little change. I wish I had, um, I wish I was trying to find a better example that was for free <laughs> that would have these variations I and I do I've used this I've actually used it in fact I showed it off in my um, Lumion 8 overview one with another big project but it was so heavy I didn't want to do it again but it was using this exact, exact same thing and I have a Revit model that had a portico and not but fortunately it doesn't work cooperating but I hope this is able to kind of get this point across here how are we able to control this so there's our hideous new one. They're pretty much all not that great looking. But we're just trying to learn the basics here. So there's V5. So that could also be animated, keyframed, and everything. So let's go ahead and... This is actually another project here. So I was going to show off this truck here. Could talk a little more. So I utilize this with cars sometimes because you just need to have different variations for colors. So I'm going to grab this truck. Right, unfortunately, that's where that's located. And I've actually created 10 variations. So you can have up to 10 variations per model. And that's why I almost kind of say, in a way, the way that's, that effect is switching on and off, it's kind of like the hide layer effect, which I used to use all the time in 4D animations and such. Uh, but essentially, it's almost like you have like infinite layers now in a way. I'm trying to figure out how that would all work out, but I mean, you can pretty much import as many models as you want and create 10 var variations of each one of those. Still contemplating what, what things I can do, and I'm sure once I figure out something cool, I will share it with you guys. But here are 10 variations on that truck, and I start to get a little creative here. <laughs> Same model. Chrome, rusted, pink. So all ten variations here, and let's show you how that effect would work. So I'm gonna just create another scene here. Let's we'll start with a new one from scratch. So we go to effect, variation control, 
And remember, this, this threw me off at first. I was like, why isn't it working? You have to select the model that has the variations. And you can have multiple by holding control. And now we cycle through all those variations, all 10 of them. So I think that's pretty much that pretty much covers the basics here. Um, there's a couple things just to be to to take note of. Unfortunately, at least at this point, and I may be wrong. Um, so I've created this truck with ten variations, but and each one of these variations is is has come in. So here's all the trucks. So it gets pretty littered, as you can. Yeah, this is. I just merged my all my other models back into here, so that's why that's so messy. But as you see, this uh, I'm not able to recreate. I'm not able to add vi to variation. Here is another one I was sh considering showing off the process of. You know, I'd done a video showing off um, custom materials. And you know, just cycling through colors here. That's how I was doing it. Well, now there's an even better way of having different colored cars. For saying, cars aren't the most important thing. You're going to be mainly using this for for your building design options. But this is an easy way to show this off. But as I was saying, I have a couple variations on this one already. And when you go to add variation, unfortunately, right now you have to load in a new model. Maybe there's something that might change, or maybe I'm doing something wrong, but it would be nice if I could add in an already existing model. Because I already have a bunch of these Tesla cars already. And if I were to, um, I'd have to keep loading more per project. So uh, that's just a simple l limitation to be aware of. But it works. It works in this case, and we you can load each one individually. Here's another one. This is actually the same original one, and it doesn't have any variations. So that's important to know that variations aren't saved with the model. Another important thing to understand too is, <laughs> uh, especially when you have your full project is in, in different variations, everything, all your materials, all your geometry is duplicated in the project, in the model. So if you export that LS8 file, just understand that it may quadruple in size because of these, these different variations in there. So if you have a really heavy model, just know that it'll still run quickly, but with these variations, it's not going to really slow down performance, but the actual LS file, SL, LS8 file can get really big. All right, so uh, I think that about covers most of the Im the important things here. Uh, I was going to show off one. I was going to show off this car again, going through the process, but we kind of showed that off on that house over there. So if we were to start with this one again, just to go over this again, here's our here's our car, our first variation, and if we want to add a second variation. Could load in the same car. Now, notice I was doing version one, two, three, four. I don't want to say like version color, like version like orange or green or black, because you know that that's something that, that can be changed easily. I don't want to be stuck in that color because, like I said, this is going to populate our custom, our imported objects models uh, library. So I'm just going to call this. I don't know, variation 6, make sure I'm not duplicating it. Let's take some moment to load. That's why I had a lot of these pre-done import process can be taxing. So, okay, so what should happen is the original, so it, we're on variation 2 now. And I'm switching in between, and it applied all of the materials. Like, remember when we we can save a material set, and I recommend doing it just in case. Save your material set, model X. So just in case it it loses the materials, you can reload them again, and you would reload it onto here. 
and you get all those materials again because in this case all we want to do is change the color and you do it again and add and uh, add the different color in there just be aware that I've had a couple times where the materials did disappear I'm not sure if I did something wrong but there's that third variation and it can be blue so we have all those different colors in here these could be models you could also load here let, let, let's show this off too let's Oops, I, I clicked on the asphalt material, just high resolution, so it slows it down. Okay, so I'll jump back onto the car. Notice that, that the variation is popping up here in the material editor, as well as when you select it in um, build mode, the other the object mode. So I'm going to show off too that we can also, this is going to be kind of funny, let's, let's have it as a truck alternate. I'm not sure. Usually, you know, I recommend organizing this better than how I'm just doing this. But it can actually be multiple different cars. Unfortunately, this you know, the materials are going to carry over because they're all called different things. Whereas in this one, color A05 is in this each model because it's the same model. And I could load whatever I want in here. I could load a project in here if I wanted. So, yeah, that, that about covers it. Um, I'm thinking about, in the future, what, what things can be done with this. And, I, and I'll show off to an animation here. Um, let's see, well, we have the variation control, and we select both of these objects. So, you could keyframe it so it starts here goes to here goes to here so you have that going through in an animation that's another option and this is where I start thinking that there might be some there um, there's could be some 4d animation um, set up in here and whether you have it so the it's each part is added to it, it each other like you would do like a, a concrete foundation and one model then you would do another model that's a concrete foundation and studs and then another one that's concrete foundation studs and then framing roof framing or something whatever order you have it in you know and then typically in the 40 you would do um you would do um um you you would separate them into separate models but in this case uh you you you, you would have to do other models where it builds up Oh, I'll play with it later in a future tutorial. It's pretty exciting because there's a lot of power and a lot of potential in this one. And once I start getting some really cooler workflows later on in some better use case scenarios, I'll make sure to share it. All right, well, thanks for watching, guys. Um, like and subscribe to this video, and I will catch you guys next time.